find all solutions to the following system of linear equations over Z3. So what we're going to do, our first step is to take our equations, we're going to put them into an augmented matrix, as so, and then we're just going to apply Gaussian elimination and take a look at what happens. So my first step is going to be a target in the century here. We have a one up in our upper left hand corner, so that's where we would want it. So I'm going to target the entry right below that, which is my two. So I'm going to turn that two into a one. Since I'm over Z3, we'll note if I multiply that row through by a two, two times two is four, I subtract off a three, that becomes a one. So our first operation is just going to be to multiply through my second row by a two. So that'll give me one, two, one. Now we know that's going to be a multiple of the first row. It actually is the first row. So I can row reduce that out. And I'm just going to be left with the row one, two, one. So going back to our variables to unwrap this, that's just going to say x plus 2y is equal to 1, or x equals 1 minus 2y. So y is going to be our free variable. But since I'm only looking at z3, I only have three options for what I can put into y. It can be either 0, 1, or 2. So we do each of those. What are we going to note? We get our three solutions out, 1, 0, 2, 1, and 0, 2 for our vector x, y. And then once we have those, what we can do is just check by putting them into the original equations. And you'll note that each of these solutions is going to check out. So it's going to work exactly like it does when we're over a real or complex vector space.